And we're back! Like the dinosaurs in the movie, we're back. So, uh, last episode we had a bit of a problem. Our batteries pretty much exploded and caught fire. We had, a uh, knocked out a power by mistake trying to fix doors. So we're in a bit of a recovery mode. And we're going to have a bit of a problem because we currently have no way to make food of any kind. Uh, luckily, we did manage to get power up so somebody, some nice person, can start making some meals. Where are you going? No, where you focus, I like focus people. Uh, we lost our trading capacity, we lost our comaray, we lost our batteries, we lost our nutrient paste dispenser. So all in all, it was just a bit of a shit show right there. Pardon my French, but um, it could have gone better. Now we've got all this slag everywhere. So once the walls are rebuilt, we can get our comaray up again in here. But, uh, yeah, we have a bit of a recovery mode right now. Haul things, I want you to haul that. Okay, I guess it's already set for hauling. Let's keep making food. We have no dedicated cook, but someone... And we've got a bunch of animals trapped inside our buildings. Fantastic. Is there still a door here? There is still a door here. Let's get, uh, what button is it under? Here we go. Let's, apparently it was already up. Let's get the comrades set up. Our hospital is essentially set up. That is nice. And if need be, I can switch them to be uh, other people. Visitors. Recruits we get if we get recruits really fast. I doubt it, but maybe. These rooms all seem really big. I hope the people appreciate them. They're like, the, they're a house, is what they are. And auto save. I don't like how there's boars trapped inside. We'll make a, a butchering table later. Might even make it like in here. Actually. That could be like that. Yeah, it's going to be made out of metal. And that. Let's see. Okay, I have no wood. Okay, yeah. So I actually, I just need to wait a bit. Because I've got no wood, I have... Things that need doing. So no, did I not build something there? Okay. Build a metal wall, my friends. And start, haul some of this cloth. Because that was really useful to trade last time. He's going to go right back on plant cutting as soon as that's done. Where are some other trees? We're going to... Uh, harvest pretty much all these trees. No trading capacity. I know, I know. At least with only a couple of people, making meals is, isn't too much of a problem. I wish there wasn't so many snakes around. They freak me out. I like snakes. I worked as a naturalist for a long time. I worked with snakes a lot. I like them. Uh, I generally know from other video games that having cobras running around your base is not a pleasant experience. So, so that's uh, that's where my concern comes from. How are people thinking? You're an optimist, so you don't care. There's pretty much nothing there, which you know isn't actually a bad thing. Because it definitely seems like uh, the thought bar, whereas before, if you had nothing, it tended to average around here. Now it averages nice in the middle at 50. Once I start getting floors and stuff up, then it's very likely that I'll actually have bonuses there. What are people doing? You've got to go all the way to Hall Metal. Jeb? Your name is Jeb now, because it's easier. Mine, Jeb. I'm actually going to take you off constructing for a little bit, Jeb, just because I want you to uh, to mine. 
I'm tired of people walking all the hell over trying to find metal. So you're on mining duty. Yay, and our trading capacity is up. Except that room is filled with slag. Remove it. This is nice, it's not really a priority, but otherwise that's actually pretty much it for uh, construction and stuff too. That would be nice. Which means other everyone else is back to hauling and sort of just general working on stuff. See, it takes a little while, but we're moving up. We are playing on Randy Random difficulty. Uh, so we could have wonderful times, we could have the worst of times, we could have the durst of times, if you get that reference. We all watch the same YouTube channels. The durst of times. But, uh, let's see. A lot of, lot of undergrown trees here. Capropia. Cap Capropia? Sapropia. Is it a C? Okay. Growing to, grows very fast. That's good to know. No, I want you people up here mining metal. Mine metal. Where are you going? You're going to mine, aren't you? Mine metal. Uh, let's see. Are still, we're missing wood. Well, do them a favor and go cut some wood. Or still, our food situation. It was a lot easier to have food in some of the other games. I don't know if what I'm uh, what I'm doing really that different. I could have much bigger fields. Once I get more people and I can have somebody like just growing. Like we have somebody just growing right now, but he's also back and forth with plant cutting. If he was just growing, I'd just make a much larger field. Because we have, we have the space for that at least. Let's see, uh, Jeb, I'm going to find that money, and you are going to go collect it. It was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was more down towards the bottom of the map. There we go. Go collect that fat loot. Loot. I looked at this already, but I thought it might be a different kind of metal. Oh, well. I'm very happy with how this game is coming along. This update was, uh, cargo pods, excellent. This update did a whole ton of really interesting things. Metal, don't really need it, and you're in a place I can't get to. Yet. I feel like there was more of these at some point. Oh well, I'll check the footage later. Table wood. You can go cut a tree. Prioritize cutting a tree. I don't know what the wood went towards. Why are you not charging? Oh, because we're now at zero. Okay. So we need to get a solar thing set up. Oh, it's probably because of the... Uh... You know what? For now, till we can get the battery set up, we're turning our turrets off. But we need to get some solar plants set up. Uh, what do they take? Just metal, really? And not not too much metal. Where's the best place for these? I like here. Okay, there's that. Mm, there's that. Weird place. We're going to have to rely on solar a lot more in this one than I normally do. That's not such a terrible thing, you know? Okay, it does mean we're gonna want a, a bigger battery. Like, we're gonna want a battery bag fairly soon. Okay. So, is there the wood? Have you cut down enough trees yet? Okay, I see you. I will get to you in a second. Pause while we get to that. I want to make some food. There we go, because it's important to have that. Eh, it doesn't matter. Because uh, the nutrient-based dispenser will keep people alive, but otherwise it's 
pointless. The negative is a huge pain. It's worth it to have somebody occasionally go make food, especially because it looks like they don't actually spend too much time doing it, which is nice. Could put a lamp in there, but I'm not going to. People aren't going to be there in there too often. I am going to set it up forever, so whenever butchery stuff, whenever animal carcasses come in, people will butcher it pretty much right away. Okay. I don't want you people wandering off. I want you to keep mining here. Where's the other guy? Where's Jeb? Jeb is making food, unfortunately. Sorry, Jeb, I want you mining instead. What's that? Why does it look like there's a little box there? What is that? Looking around, I guess it's just like the ground or the shadow or something. Is it just me? Does anyone else see that? Like the little box, how it's a different texture or something there? Oh well, I'm probably just crazy. Don't worry about it. What the, the, it'd be really nice if these people that came like cooked or something or helped hauled for a little bit. They did more than just visit. Oh yeah, I forgot I took you off construction. How hungry are you? Hungry? Not too bad? Excellent. Come up here and mine some more metal. Help your peeps out. Okay. So they, pre they really did just wander through. Now, our defenses are still fairly open. Uh, we don't have a wall set up, which could be bad depending on if a, C like a, a bigger force comes. It would be a massive pain if a bigger force came like up here. Because they would just pound in. At least here, we have a bit of a choke point. In fact, what I'm going to do is build a wall here. Metal wall. That will be a pain that's going to use resources we don't really have. It's going to build a metal wall here, which would sort of force people to come up this way. Because then I can build another door here. We're going to do it, though. Even if we have people just start work on it. Nettle. Actually, I, this doesn't need to be conducting, does it? What's the difference in metal? Eight, two. This doesn't need to be conducting. Just needs to be fairly strong. Okay, there we go. Should somebody be trapped, I can just get rid of a wall in there. This gives us a bit more expansion room here. Also, hopefully it will mean people come up this way to get into our colony. Can't believe they've discovered no metal ore in here. That's a pain. And we need to no roof zone over here. Create no roof region. Okay. That way our solar plants will actually get solar energy. And I'm going to turn these on just because I feel better when they're on. And it gives me a better idea what our electricity usage is like. Okay. Okay. We have our battery bank area slowly getting set up. Randy Random has actually been really nice to us so far. We haven't, we've only had the one attack, which was one guy. Who's this, Digga? Where are you, Digga? Urgently hungry and very tired. Well, get back and eat then, you dingle dork. They're eating from berries. Why are you eating berries? We have food. There's still food. That was not that much of a rush. If you go nuts, I'm going to be upset. Eating berries apparently did not cause a problem. Weird. And because I'm tired of these guys in here, hunt, hunt the boars, which could be a problem. I'm going to take hunting off for everyone except the guy with the assault rifle. And you know what? Just because... There we go, there's that. That was remarkably easy. Where are you going? Oh, okay, he actually is butchering it. Fair enough. 
deconstruct. There we go. Do that. Oh, no, stop. You can stop now. Stop, stop making sounds. Okay, come on, kill the snake. Sorry, snake, but uh, I'm hoping you become food. Okay. I'm actually, you know, I'm already decided I'm going to take off hunting on the boars for now. Because I apparently just did all the hunting required with, uh, with my turret. See, he is making snake meat, snake giblets, and we've got leather from that. And various clothing. Hooray. Sorry, folks, that uh, that beep you heard was us trying to plan our next CK2 night for Subject Neutral. Okay. How are we doing? Strangely enough, we're doing okay for metal. We, there hasn't been a, a call for more of it. Prioritize metal. Where's Digga? Dig, dig, dig. Oh, because there's still metal scattered everywhere, so people are walking miles to go get it. Okay. Let's uh, uh, accidentally obliterate that snake. By accidentally, I mean on purpose. We're slowly dealing with our snake problem. That terrifies me. Okay, there we go. Cobra's dead with several bullet shots. Hooray. Not hooray. Norm normally I very much support nature, but right now I kind of need it out of my colony. We have a nice buildup of wood, even if it's not in our stockpile. Is this all under a no-roof zone? I don't know if that's a problem or not, actually, you know? I'm going to leave it. I don't think it matters for now. Nice to keep a little bit of the rain off. I don't know why that area is any different. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the roof in here just because it makes it darker. And we don't really need that. Okay, here we go. It just makes it a bit easier to see. And I don't like having a big dark patch on the screen. Especially for you lovely viewers trying to see things. YouTube sometimes changes stuff, which can make it very annoying. Put a video up and it all looks good, and then I actually go watch it on YouTube and it doesn't look at all like how I edited it. But, you live and learn. That's how things happen. For example, the mist is also really annoying. Orders. Mine. And with that done, we're once again back to everyone just sort of doing a random thing. So what are you doing? Who knows? Thanks for not actually doing anything. You're hauling? Okay. So we've got one person growing, two people mining, and one person hauling. Which isn't too bad, actually. And then we're doing a, a bit of exploratory mining as well. And like I thought, there's no difference between mining slate and mining granite or limestone or any of the other stuff. I am hoping they will maybe discover some uh, interesting stuff. I am going to get the battery bank set up here. Let's see. This is going to take a fair bit of metal, actually. So I'm going to leave the battery bank, but I am going to use the power. And let's get some light going in here, shall we? That one will stretch, so we'll leave that one for now. Okay. We have an awful lot of snake giblets. Cobra flesh. Huh. Sorry, that's not that funny. Uh, we need more food. There we go. It's a, a bit of a balancing act with the food. But we are going to call this episode here, actually. This has been a good one. We're moving along. We've got lots of things done, and our colony is looking pretty good. So tune in next time, folks. I will see you on the far side.